Well, the beautiful thing is that your calculator can do box and whisker plots for you, and you are allowed to use calculators on tests. So how do we do this? First of all, you want to make sure that your data is in a list. All right, there it is. And as you scroll down, it's usually a good idea to make sure you have the same number of data points. That's a quick way to proof that you didn't leave anybody out. And you can see right there, I have 21. That means I already have 20 points entered before that, so we're good there. Now you hit um, second stat plot, all right? And then you make sure that plot one is turned on. All other graphs should be turned off. If you, and uh, then you go to the fifth type of graph, which is box and whisker without outliers. Now we want to make sure we have the right list. You can do that by hitting second stat list. Make sure that's right. If you're using a frequency list, you can also change that. Um, but since I don't, I can hit clear and come back and leave that as one. And then you're going to press graph. Now it doesn't look right, so we're going to hit zoom, which is right there in the center, and then scroll down to nine zoom stats. All right. Then you hit, uh, once you hit that nine, it'll fit. And then you can hit trace right there next to the graph and you can go through and see the different values that we have for the box and whisker plot. There's your five number summary. But that's not the only way to get your five number summary. You can hit stat and basically do your one bar stats like we've been doing, enter. And then I personally am getting in the habit of doing the list because some of the calculators really need it. And we hit enter here. And there we go, I was having trouble hitting enter. Yeah, there we go. And you can see there's your five number summary that we calculated before from our example.